This is our list of the top 10 films to see at the 2014 Sundance Film Festival. Number 10, White Bird and a Blizzard, written and directed by Greg Araki. Based on the acclaimed novel, White Bird and a Blizzard tells the story of Kat Connors, a young woman whose life is turned upside down by the sudden disappearance of her beautiful, enigmatic mother. Araki's films always pack a punch, and we're hoping his newest film will give festival goers a good reason to be out of the inevitable cold of Park City, Utah. Number 9. The Guest, directed by Adam Wingard. Still struggling over the loss of their oldest son Caleb in the war in Afghanistan, the Peterson family finds some solace when an unexpected visitor knocks on their door. Wingard and frequent collaborator writer Simon Barrett are known in horror circles for the VHS films and last year's You're Next. The Guest is one of the spotlights in Sundance's midnight lineup. Number 8. Kumiko the Treasure Hunter Directed by David Zellner A lonely Japanese woman becomes convinced that a satchel of money buried and lost in a fictional film is in fact real. The fictional film in question is none other than the Coen Brothers' Fargo. The subject matter sounds right up any film buff's alley, and we think this could lead into an unlikely franchise of finding the cash stashes from every Coen Brothers film. Number 7. Mr. Leos Carax, directed by Tessa Luis Salome. This documentary dives into the poetic and visionary world of an artist who was already a cult figure from his very first film. Punctuated by interviews and unseen footage, this documentary is most of all a fine-tuned exploration of the poetic and visionary world of Leos Carax, alias Mr. X. Number 6. God's Pocket, directed by John Slattery. A guy named Mickey gets in over his head when he tries to cover up the accidental death of his stepson. This is the directorial debut of John Slattery, outside of a handful of Mad Men episodes wherein he plays Roger Sterling. As a bona fide actor, he should have no problem wrangling a cast consisting of Philip Seymour Hoffman, John Turturro, Richard Jenkins, Christina Hendricks, and Caleb Landry Jones. Number 5. Hits, written and directed by David Cross. The film takes place in a small town in upstate New York, populated by people who trade in unrealistic expectations. This is the feature-length directorial debut of Cross, who fans of American comedy know well from Mr. Show and Arrested Development. Number four, The Voices, directed by Mar Jane Satrapi. Ryan Reynolds plays a disturbed factory worker who hears advice from his pet dog and cat. This odd premise comes to us from Iranian director Marjane Satrapi, who has been on our radar since her dazzling debut, Persepolis. Number 3, Life Itself, directed by Steve James. In 2013, we lost Roger Ebert, arguably the nation's best known and most influential movie critic. This biographical documentary is directed by Steve James. 2014 also marks the 20th anniversary of his beloved film, Hoop Dreams. Number 2, A Most Wanted Man, directed by Anton Corbin. A Chechen Muslim illegally immigrates to Hamburg where he gets caught up in the international war on terror. After many years directing music videos, Corbin made the jump to feature films with 2007's Control, followed by 2010's The American. A Most Wanted Man will be his biggest film to date and one of the major premieres at Sundance this year. Number 1. The Raid 2 Berendahl, written and directed by Gareth Evans. Immediately following the events of the original, The Raid 2 tracks Officer Rama as he is pressured to join an anti-corruption task force to guarantee protection for his wife and child. With The Raid, Evans and his talented cast of martial artists turned actors raised the bar for the action genre. If what we've heard and seen of The Raid 2 is any indication, he plans to kick that bar to the curb. That's our list for the top 10 films to see at the 2014 Sundance Film Festival. Comment below to let us know what you're most excited for, and thanks for watching.